Mr. President, dear Assembly, every day we read appalling news about barbaric atrocities of the so-called Islamic State. The report has focused on humanitarian aspects of disaster, and we are grateful for the job. However, I think it is time to focus on the root cause of this disaster and, unique, uh, and unequivocally condemned the Islamic State for genocidal crimes against religious and ethnic groups of Syria and Iraq. In Armenia, we have a beautiful Yazidi community, which makes a significant contribution to our domestic, cultural, and political life. In Syria and Iraq, their brothers and sisters were recently being killed, raped, tortured, and mutilated regardless of age and sex in a heinous campaign of mass murder of the Yazidi community, reminiscent of the scenes of Ottoman atrocities during the 1915 Armenian genocide. The genocidal intent of the Islamic State is clear. They are busy with wiping out from the surface of the earth religious minorities such as Yazidis, Yarsanis, Mandeans, which in the judgment of these barbarians have a wrong religion. Shiite Muslims are being killed as apostates of Islam. Assyrian, Chaldean, Syriac, and Armenian Christian groups are also being destroyed through giving them three choices, to convert to Islam, to pay the so-called jizya tribute, or to die. All this clearly falls into international legal definition of the genocide. The Islamic State should be thus condemned for the genocidal acts against, against Yazidis, Shiites, Christians, and others. Recognition of genocides and condemnation of both the, ge the genocide and its denial, regardless of when it happened, how big the numbers of murdered people were, and what were political motives behind, is absolutely necessary to prevent them in future. It is also our moral obligation to commemorate all the victims of these crimes against humanity, including those of the Armenian genocide, which, as Pope Francis rightly put, was the first genocide in the modern history. The Jewish Holocaust, Rwandan, Bosnian, and other genocides. And I ask you, Ms. President, to announce now a minute of silence for commemoration of all the victims of all the genocides committed in the history of humankind. Mesdames, Messieurs, je voudrais vous demander si vous êtes d'accord à donner suite à la demande formulée euh, par M. Euh, Zorabian d'observer une minute de silence pour toutes les victimes euh, qui ont malheureusement euh, dû laisser leur vie au cours de notre histoire commune. Je vous remercie.